Hey guys, it's Pulsar. I know I don't make videos too much anymore. It just has been a thing. But I've been streaming a lot. You can always watch me stream if you want to see me yell at my opponent. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so uh, so yeah, Strive dropped and look at this girl, man. They, they they did my girl good, I think, right? Um, I wanted to go in and just look at all our normals and talk to you guys about what I thought was important, like what they changed, and what they didn't change, and what really matters for her in Strive, right? Like her notable changes. Um, and then I'll, after I finish that, I'll give you my overall thoughts on how well I think our system works handled bringing her over. All right. So here, please enjoy the video. Have fun. May has four command normals they brought over, and I had six H, six K, six P, and three K. I'll talk about the little bit more detail, like in the around little sections. Her normals are pretty much the same looking, right? Five P, two P, five K, two K. Uh, close slash, far slash, and 2s. And the big one that got kind of changed is 5h. It has a lot more recovery on it. I think we were all pretty excited that we saw that when May finally grew a foot, basically, right? But what that also tra translated to was that May's 5k is so much longer now. Um, it is a great poke. And it still has all the luxuries of the previous version, right? Still jump cancel of wall. And because of like a universal system change that Strive has, you can also do a, a 3k from it, right? Um, this is good mainly because uh, her 2d is uh, it's it, I didn't even talk about it because it's like it's like it's a basic sweep, right? But the range is so short on it uh, that you're pretty much always gonna have to do if you want to get a knockdown, right? You, you have to do this basically. You, do a, you confirm the 5k into a 3k, um, and that's a change that I've been really enjoying in Plus R, and I'm glad it's here now. Cause it's always been something she's had a problem with, right? You could never do a 2D for max range, right? And you wanted to get your knockdown. Let's talk about the hard slash, right? This is the one of the most defining moves she's ever had. And it's completely different in this game, right? Well, it looks the same, except for the part where she takes half an hour to recover from it. What they did is that they gave it a lot of block stun, right? Your opponent is trapped forever in there. But so is Mei. However, you can do the dolphin still, right? And one thing I found that was really fun is that the slash, oh god darn it, <laughs> the slash vertical dolphin is actually a, a true block screen. They can't actually do anything about it, right? So you get you can do an overhead on your opponent, right? If they're not if they're sleeping, they'll get hit by that, which is really cool. You can roam and cancel the dolphin and go for a combo. There is no low option from it, sadly, right? I don't think you can do anything. Right? You can't do three, you can't do three K or two D. Yeah. So that's something to be mindful of. However, what a good what what it is good for is doing. A dolphin afterwards, right? That is still its place right there, right? And that, don't forget that dolphin is incredibly strong, which I'll talk about a little bit later. If you're wondering what you can do from countering from it, it's still really good. It's still, it's still probably maybe one of her best counter hit starters that I found at least. I mean, outside of, you know, Star 6 H. But you can do something like this. You can do this. And then during that time frame, you can do a vertical dolphin slash. Slash vertical dolphin, right? And you'll land right in front of them for a combo. Right? Something like that. It's it's, it's very cool. It's very fine. And, and and because like a, I'll talk about the system changes. It's a lot. It's super easy to do now in Strive. Like any vertical dolphin, even if it's from a standing attack, is very very easy to do now. Uh, Maze jump K is largely the same, right? It's still very good. It, it's great for not stopping people like out on their way up from a jump for you clip them with it. What I really like about her now is her new jump P. Uh, this is new to me. I don't know if she had something similar in Exerd, but this jump P actually hits down forward for me, and I'm like, this is super exciting for me to actually have an attack that looks like I got you huge in an air dash. <laughs> so that's cool. I like it a lot. I like the new May jump slash. It feels pretty good. It's very annoying. Uh, note they added a lot more recovery to it, right? But it also has a lot more active frames, so it's a bit of a trade-off, right? So there's no more free action like afterwards. Before you used to do jump slash and air dash backwards, you can't do that anymore. But I think you got you get a much better, more quality jump in now, right? Because that's so much more hits then that it makes it a lot easier for you to confirm your hits and to go into a combo and whatnot. Great luxury chain. Maze jumping hard slash. It's still really good in this game. There are some caveats, right? The Abare, right? The, the damage you get from random hits isn't quite all there anymore uh, due to some properties that have been changed on it. Notably that if you hit the opponent with it, they are going to go flying very, very far away from you. That peak, off they go, right? 
Uh, this makes confirming mid-screen kind of annoying, because the only option you have is sometimes a Slash Dolphin. So if I do this, and then there you go, right there, right? The Slash Dolphin connects. Nothing else works, right? If you want a combo, you have to Roman cancel it now. Like that. And this already makes me feel sad, because I don't like wasting meter. I don't know if it's necessarily a waste, but it, it's still... I don't feel comfortable doing it because I want my free combo, because I'm a spoiled May player. Uh, in the corner, right, we got some cool things too, though, because now uh, all jumping attacks in this game are pretty much untackable. This means that May also gets a free combo, like this, right? And you just mash, slash, you know, do whatever you want. And there you go, right? Uh, but see, the problem with two, though, is that even on counter hit, these moves still have the same issue. Like, they're going to be the same properties regardless. So, it doesn't matter if you're fishing for a counter hit now, mid-screen or in the corner, right? Because the properties are universal, right? On hit, it's still going to send them flying away, and in the corner, you can still get a combo, regardless if it's counter hit or not. So, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so May's new jump D, right? She has she just flies up into space, like that. It's great in this game. It does a lot of damage. It also keeps her air options available to her afterwards, right? There's no landing recovery for her or whatnot. Um, it also combos from Jump K, so if you get them at the right height, you can land a, a Jumping Hard Slash on the way down from the Jump D. So we'll like this. Like that. Um, and if they're close enough in the corner, you should be able to combo off of it, right? Because, you know, you can do whatever button you want once you once they hit towards the corner. It's pretty good. I like it. Right. I'm gonna say that. So yeah, Maze Dust. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty. I think it's far. I can't even compare it to any other characters. I just don't use it enough, so I don't have a lot of experience with it. Um, I do know that from like a max range 5k, it does reach pretty... Mm, it, it can reach, alright? There we go, something like that. And then, I don't know what the combo is. I just, I just hit blinds and watch my attacks with. <laughs> I, I really haven't learned the combos for it. But what, what's important about it is that it, it is, it's pretty far. And so, you can still probably sneak it in there just from range. It looks super reactable to me, it doesn't look very fast. Even the non strike version. Oh, well, maybe not. That looks pretty quick, in all honesty. But I, I'm still iffy on it. I don't use it because you still have dolphins, right? Dolphins are probably more obnoxious as an overhead than the dust are. So that's my take on it. Maze 2D. Uh, it's pretty garbage <laughs> in terms of range for her, right? Because you have 3K. This 3K makes 2D obsolete, as far as I can tell. Uh, one thing to know, though, I've seen videos on Twitter where it can low profile. I haven't played with too much of it with it, but I've seen it actually work pretty well against Ramlethal for some reason, so that's something to take note of. Uh, I just, in terms of like, combo pieces, it's not very reliable, that's why I don't like to use it, because it's still whiff from like, like this range, right? And that's a very common range you're going to end up with May. Hit them with the cross up and then you can't do anything. So May 6P, right there. It looks like a jab, but that's her 6 punch, right? It works great. It beats a lot of jump ins and all that good stuff. Like that. I've seen it beat Soul's jumping hard slash, and so to, for me, that was the biggest surprise to me, and I was incredibly happy and felt very blessed to have a move that I can use as an anti air. Another thing to note, right, is that uh, if your opponent were to go in and double jump and then try to bait your anti air, you have enough time to do your 6P. So you can do something like this, and like that. See? I had enough time to do two 6Ps. So it guarantees that you will always be able to anti them if they try to jump in on foreign approach. And that to me is a great thing to have, right? So Maze 3k, right? It's still a low profiling attack. I, I'm, I'm iffy on it because I, 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 I think the startup on it isn't so great. Like the, the, the frames it takes for her to low profile are just not as good as they were before. Uh, but the big advantage she does have is that because it's a command normal, she can do it from her two keys, right? And a lot of characters don't have the option to do that. They can't just confirm from their jabs and go into a sweep. But, and also, right, from the uh, 3k, you get a free meaty right there, right? That will beat their vipers and whatnot. And that also opens up the option to go for an empty low, right? Something like that. I, no, don't, don't do 3k, that was a horrible example. But, you get the idea. So here's her 6k, right? It's still an overhead. And it, it dodges lows still, like that. I wouldn't bank on doing this, right? It seems still pretty finicky because the, the attack itself is very slow. Uh, uh, 
and if you do it needy enough, you should be able to combo it. It does combo. Don't don't judge me for my poor execution on a thing I don't practice. So Mace is 6H, right? It still has the two versions, right? You can tap it or you can hold it. The held version is an insane amount of plus frames if you can whiff your close uh, close vertical dolphin in front of your opponent. And I mean it's a lot of plus frames. Like you can do whatever you want right in front of your opponent's face. I'm not sure how many attacks are in the game that are currently like that much plus, but it's pretty nice to have. Oh, jump to age. I didn't mention that's a pretty normal. She still has it. It's still pretty good. Uh, it hits, I think, a little bit deeper. Uh, if you're wondering, Axel's 2K still makes us move with, which is kind of sad. But it doesn't... Uh, but I mean, it, it's good. It's still good. You still use it. I also think it's a little bit wider. It's a lot easier to get to hit on both sides now. So that's an added plus. Oh, one thing, right? This is really important to mention is that... On... Air hit, it actually like knocks them down. <laughs> so that's a new change to it. Uh, if you're early, if you, can, if you can confirm it, you can Roman cancel it before it, yeah, before they knock down, right? Because once they hit the floor, they're in an untakeable role. So, OHK, or, or Overhead Kiss, uh, it's pretty different in this game. It's actually more similar to uh, XX, where you, it's kind of useless mid-screen, right? In this situation, you don't get much of a combo. If you want to do anything, you get an OTG Dolphin, right there, it'll hit like that. Um, however, in the corner... It's pretty much whatever you want to do. You're going to murder your opponent. Like you can do, press just press all the buttons, and you'll get a combo. I, I guarantee you, just hit any as long as I hit the opponent. Yeah, see. So that's where you, where she really profits is in the corner with her OHK. A lot, a lot of my friends were having a hard time dealing with it because they were, you know, she's a grappler character at that range, so she can put the fear of God in them. Still. Let's talk about Arisu, Arisugawa Sparkle. Arisugawa. I'm pretty sure it's called the beach ball at some point, but this move, right? The ball? I'm not a big fan of it. It has no neutral use to her. So it's definitely just there for mix up potential, right? And so what you can do is you can do a block screen, triple RC, and then do an overhead. Or sweep, right? And then the ball will hit afterwards. Um, I'm not going to go too, into too much detail about these setups. Mainly because I feel that it's kind of tricky to have a, uh, the meter to do these kind of setups with her, right? So that's just from my personal experience. I haven't gone too deep in them. But it does exist, and this does work. Let's see. Let's see. Not this one. But if you do like that, right? May 6K was in there. You could combo off that dolphin, or off the ball. And it completely works. It's there. It's it's a setup, and I think it'll it's something for her people to research later as time goes on, right? For, as they look for more tech in the character. But as for a neutral tool, I think it's hot garbage. <laughs> the angle is kind of just sad. The opponent can also punch it and the ball pops. <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of annoying. Well, I, I think I've seen it pop. I'm pretty sure they can hit it. So, it's just like, well, why does she have this? Uh, it's it's strictly a setup tool in my opinion. How to dolphin with me, right? This is what we're here for. If you want to know how to use dolphins. You really don't need to know how to. You just kind of do them at this point in this game, right? Mainly because the new one, this dolphin right here, you just have to hit them with this dolphin. And what is this dolphin? This is the hard slash dolphin. You know why it's dumb? Plus five. It's goddamn plus five in this game, right? That opens up all the options. You can dash up command grab. You could do a, a stagger setup, right? You can do whatever you want at plus five, and your opponent will have to hold it. Uh, I guess the one thing I should talk about though, the hard slash dolphin is a lot slower, right? Uh, there's actually a hole for people to jump out of it if you do it like inappropriately, but it doesn't really matter because even if they jump, right, Mei has no recovery from her dolphin, right? It's always been the thing she's had, right? It's always a trait that she has. She can move immediately after she kills the dolphin, right? She's already walking. Alright, we're gonna make this little block this attack, and I'm gonna show you how slow this dolphin really is. Alright, and he's out. Uh, it, it's pretty rough to play around with frame-wise. You can also do if you really if you really want to stop them from jumping though you you can learn the timing to do a slash dolphin, the uh, this dolphin right, and it will hit them on the way up from a jump. It's kind of tricky. I haven't really learned it yet, but it should be there. It is right there. So that's something you look forward to to try to condition your opponent to stop jumping, right? Um, also note that the jumping thing would also if you do that slash dolphin, it should also be mash, right? So that's a great way to like look push for counter hits. Danger. I should talk about the Slash Dolphin first too, right? 
as well. It's it's further, right? So you can't make this whiff very easily, right? So before it, it was kind of a staple to do like a block screen and just whiff dolphin and kind of go for a cheeky command grab, right? But that's gone. You can't do that anymore. Uh, but she got something cool with her her air dolphins, right? So her air dolphins are you can move in the air afterwards, right? You can do whatever you want. Uh, by no means do I think you have a bunch of advantage, right? Because at the end of the day, you're in the air, your opponent's on the ground, they could probably just anti-air you. Uh, this is true for both dolphins, right? Slash, right? You can still move after it. And, and vertical hard slash, right? One thing to note that, uh, according to the frame data that I've seen, right? This is actually plus on blocks. Um, and so you can match the jabs on the way down. I, I go for it all the time because I don't think I've, I've seen anyone ever anti-air it. And it always hits, so just take advantage of that for the... The amount of days of like the early days of strive, you should probably get some really stupid hits in, right? Um, right, be from a hard slash dolphin and just laugh at them, and it's, it's pretty good. I also think if you do a fully charged 6 H, that, that dolphin's completely guaranteed. So, there's some silliness right there. So, let's do let's talk about your mystery Yamada, though, right? This is the whale super, it doesn't hit full screen. I think it's about the green bristol that right now that it'll hit, yeah, right there. It does incredible amounts of damage. You no longer get a combo off of it and I'm countering it. Teardrop in my eye. Another big failure failure point of it is that it no longer hits in front like where me or where Soul is. If Soul's crouching right there, it will whip. Um, to me that's a very big problem, right? Because you can't really use it as a defensive super. Uh, or as a, as a cheater super. I call it the cheater super. Uh, but 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 big plus is that I think from my experience, it feels like the Whale Super, it hits a lot faster and a lot sooner, right? Like, so basically where the burst ends, right, my, the first player burst, if they are in the air and you do the Whale Super, Danger. and you and they are already doing an attack, you and you see the attack happening and you do a Super, you will more than likely hit them out of it. I'll show you a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to have Soul jump back, like, right at the timer, and then watch how the Whale's going to hit him. Okay, so that's what he's going to be doing. And here we go, I'll, I'll demonstrate it one more time. Watch this. He's not even gonna land. He's gonna hit by this one. Yeah, see. So for this, the zones that it's hit in, it's damn near instant speed, right? Soul didn't even move. He just straight up got hit. Um, and to me, that's actually a very powerful tool. It's a little bit more specific than the old whale, but for Strive, this is a very powerful tool that she has now. So let's talk about the uh, Gosho Gawara Super, right? That's the Orca. I'm gonna just call it Orca from now on. It's it's a pretty good reliable way of finishing off your combos with uh in the corner, right? Because it, it adds on a pretty good chunk of damage, right? So if I do something like this. Right, and then I can call in super that should be a pretty good chunk of damage, right? So that's pretty good, right? It's a it's a great way to finish your combos off and I and I kinda think it's a good idea to try to waste your bar if you're in the corner. Because once once you wall break them, you're gonna in that advanced state where you build more meter. You're in that positive state, so it kind of will pay for itself. Oh, and also because you finish off with a super, right? If you finish, if you didn't know, right? If you finish a combo off in the corner of the super, you get frame advantage. It's very much like uh, Dragon Ball Z when you end with a level three, right? How you get advantage. So like Mei was able to move before the opponent. So that's something to keep in mind of. There are also some really silly cross-up setups with it because if you look at Mei doing the super, she actually does an arc, right? You can RC her during that arc to change where she goes. And you're in the air, so you can even choose the air dash afterwards, right? So if you do this, <laughs> RC it, and then go any any direction. Sadly, I have the opponent on block, but it's something to look forward to. And I've, I've hit people with it dozens of times already. I don't think I've ever seen anyone block it, so I would highly recommend you just try to go for it if you have 100% meter. Why not? It's a super, you're in vol, and the radius is huge. Highly recommended. Something I feel like that benefits make quite a lot now is that the added effects on the opponent when they get hit, right, it's, it's so much more chunky that it gives May, uh, May players a lot more time to build charges in, in situations where it's typically a pretty difficult for an average player, right? I think that the one that really comes to mind to me is for 6p, right? This move is very fast. This is not a move where you would think that you could get a, like a, do a dolphin to come out of, right? But during the hit animation of it now, you have a lot more time to do a dolphin. Like, so for example, if I do jab, jab into 6p, into a vertical dolphin, it's not very complicated. Right? Um, there's stuff like that, like this, that still probably, maybe will be part of her game plan. 
later on as her combos evolve, if they do evolve at all. I mean, she is a very simple character. But there are still t some technical aspects to her, but they're not as much of a priority as they once were, which I think really will help newer players feel a little bit more comfortable playing this character. So did May's game plan change from like the previous game? Not really. You're still doing the exact same thing. It's just that the options that you do, the, or the way you do them is a little bit different, right? You're, you're still going to be doing far slash to poke your opponent, which is a lot better, right? Look, at it hits so much higher, so it's, you're, you're probably consistently going to hit people out of the air a bit. Uh, hit the jump hard slash, hit the jump hard slash, and try to just wail on them, right? But remember, the jump hard slash is no longer killing your opponent, which is kind of sad, right? Whatever. Um, the dolphins, the us, like these dolphins, I'm still iffy uh, if you should be throwing these out. Like this one's still really good, but it's, I, in my opinion, the hard slash version is reactable. The slash one, I think, is not. This is really annoying for your opponent to deal with, and it always pushes you back. So you will be able to be safe pretty much all the time. As for doing the vertical dolphins as anti airs, I don't recommend. I don't really recommend it to chase down your opponent. Uh, the slash one's great, but it doesn't move as far horizontally. But it will beat pretty much every jump in I've seen so far. You can just anti air people with it all days. Um, I do want to talk about. Do I like her? Right? Do I think she's like? Is she did did Arc the do a good job bringing over? I 100% believe they did a great job bringing her over. Right. The fact that she's just a taller character is just a big change in, in general, too. Like, I don't know if people are really thinking about it, right? But she's a taller character now, right? So that means you get you have further pose. Your buns are just actually further now because, you know, she has more arm now. And to me, that, that's, a, that's a fun, interesting way to take the character and change her, right? She's still the same character. All the moves are the same. But you know what? She... She's like a calf and a foot taller now, so now her attacks are that much further, and so that's just a fun little way to really appreciate, or a really fun way to change a character simply, but make her feel very fresh and very new. Uh, so I think that's about it, but well, what I could think of at the moment about me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them behind. I will definitely get to you guys and write them, especially if you have like like specific things you want to know about me. Please, please, please. Write something down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Alright? Thanks guys for tuning in. Catch you all later. Here are May's taunts and respects. Negative penalty.